Hello everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Sande Ekesi. I'm the Director of Research and Partnerships at ISIPE, and I've been involved in um, the Insect for Food and Feed program since inception in ISIPE in 2012. Meat, including insects, is going to play a huge role in ensuring that food security is enhanced as well as nutritional security. The last 50 years, we have seen a triple um, growth in the demand for meat. Currently, we produce around 340 million metric tons of meat um, annually. Uh, that's to tell you that around 80 billion animals are slaughtered annually. Uh, an average human being consumes around 43 kilograms of meat uh, annually. Accompanying this demand is also the demand for feed. Uh, 1.1 billion tons of compounded animal feed was produced in 2018. If you look at all these figures, you need to ask yourself whether the level at which we are going is sustainable. And that's where insects come uh, to the debate around the sustainable protein economy. Crude protein sources in insects varies between 38 to around 78 percent. Plant protein is around 1 to 40 percent. Animal protein is around 25 to 58 percent. So if you compare all these figures with that of insects, it's, the difference is really, really massive. And that's why we believe that insects can play a massive role in improving food security as well as nutritional security. Insect can do this in various ways because of the advantages it has over conventional livestock production. For instance, uh, you require only two kg of feed to produce one kg of insect protein. You are going to need around 25 kg of feed to produce around one kg of beef protein. You require one liter of water to produce one kg of insect protein, while you require 22,000 liters of water to produce one kg of beef protein. So insects will certainly leave a lighter footprint on the environment compared to conventional livestock production. And this has become really crucial given the current debate around net zero and carbon neutrality. Some insects, like the one that we have here at the moment, such as black soldier fly, are able to convert waste into organic fertilizer that feed back into agricultural production. Currently, around 2 billion tons of waste is produced annually globally, but only 33% of that is recycled efficiently. But here are we here with an insect that is able to convert this waste into organic fertilizer that feed back into agriculture, where you can use the same insect as a source of protein. At ECPE, we have established the Insect for Food and Feed program that is looking at insects from various facets, be it for food, be it for feed, be it as um, a source of uh, bioconversion or uh, conversion of uh, organic waste into fertilizer. We're also looking at the possibility of getting some important antimicrobials from insects. So there are various facets to the program. And one of the aspects of what we're doing is to first look at what biodiversity of insects are there that can be utilized for this source. So that's a crucial first element of what we do. Then we begin to look at the possibility of rearing these insects. Because if you cannot rear them, there is the tendency for people to go into the wild and over harvest. And that will bring down biodiversity and that's not what we're looking for. Then we are looking at aspects of processing because we think that processing is going to change the demography of usage because there are some people who don't like the sight of insects. But if it is processed, there is the tendency that there will be a little optic or faster optic uh, in this particular uh, space. Then there is the aspect of fertilizer and then we are looking at aspects of regulation to ensure that there is an enabling environment that is created by a government so that this uh, facet, this sector can be mainstream into the entire process. In this particular series, we are going to delve into the details of what we have been doing with BSF or the Black Soldier Fly. And my colleague, Dr. Chris Tanga, will now take you into all that we have been able to achieve. 
in the program. As you must have heard from Dr. Casey, I do have a lot of interest on the black soldier fly, which is a very, very important insect and has been globally accepted as an alternative source of protein in animal feed. We have done extensive research work on this um, insect um, since 2013, and we have um, been able to establish the harvest, the farming of this insect, processing of this insect, as well as look at the nutritional status of the insect when raised on different substrates, and we've been able to look at extracting oils, getting chitin from the, um, from the pupa skin of the insects, and also using the frass for crop um, production. Uh, we've developed um, standards um, that allow the use of this insect in animal um, based feed in Kenya, Uganda, and right now we are almost finalizing that of um, uh, Rwanda. This insect is common, it's found everywhere in almost all the African countries. It's quite endemic and they are quite um, easy to, to harvest from the wild. So we have uh, been training uh, together with our partners over uh, 57,000 uh, farmers on how they can get this insect from the wild, how they can farm the insects, and how they can commercialize this uh, insect. What we've seen from farm trials with smallholder farmers is that uh, when these um, uh, livestock, um, such as pig, are fed with insect-based feed, they get ready to market size between 1.2 to um, two months earlier. And also they gain a lot of weight compared to that of uh, when they're fed conventional feed. This translates to uh, increased profit for the smallholder farmers. The layers we've seen an extended um, egg production uh, uh, period and also more egg production and also the egg are bigger in size and this also uh, also translates to better profits. We've also seen that for broilers um, which is actually meant for meat um, they, 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 they get ready for market size between um, one to two weeks much more earlier saving labor and cost for the smallholder farmers as well as the, the feed um, uh, input. For fish uh, we've also worked on catfish and tilapia and we've seen um, them uh, get inside an increase in size between uh, 15 to 23 percent, much more than those are fed on insect-based feed. And also the carcass quality uh, have high protein levels compared to when they're fed on insect-based feed. This also gives us the opportunity that um, this insect can be a very, very important alternative source of protein wherever there's a, a protein gap in different countries, not only the continent, but also um, beyond. On this slide, we've come up with a program at ICP where we train farmers on the A to Z process of farming black soldier flies. And also you get testimonials of farmers who have used the insect-based uh, uh, protein in their livestock and fish production. I've had the use of frost fertilizer for um, crop uh, production. But before this, you, you listen to um, Dr. Sovgan Subramania, who is going to give some highlights on the importance of black soldier flies, um, both to smallholder farmers and to other actors within the value chain. Black soldier flies is capable of uh, recycling a lot of organic waste that uh, that we accumulate in the uh, in the urban setup, and they just not uh, do not recycle the organic waste alone. They also convert these organic waste into uh, highly nutritious proteins that can go into the animal feed sector, uh, increasing the uh, protection of uh, animal proteins. And on the other end, uh, the frass that is left out by the black soldier flies are rich organic manure, uh, which is a scarce commodity currently in Africa and which can contribute to increased uh, production of crops like uh, tomatoes, uh, vegetables, or, or all the vegetables that we consume, and even uh, the staple food crops that we consume. Uh, this also has other uh, benefits. For instance, uh, more uh, reliance on organic fertilizers reduces our demand for uh, synthetic fertilizers, which are largely imported uh, uh, and which uh, plays a part in the, in the national economy. In the same way, currently the animal proteins are la largely imported uh, in the form of soybean or in the form of fish meal and an insect that can replace this animal protein can also contribute to the national uh, economy. Beyond this, uh, black soldier fly uh, farming and its use is, is a sector in itself with diverse industries that can contribute, with diverse needs that, uh, that are there for this sector and production of all these diverse needs can also contribute to effective employment generation uh, in the continent uh, for uh, the youths and women. Thanks a lot for watching uh, our first episode on black soldier flies. I hope you got uh, good information on the uh, potential of edible insects and how they can be used in different sectors. Uh, as you watch this, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to get more information on edible insects in Africa.